and I must suppress him and keep him into slavery and, and keep and keep him into slavery and all so uh so it's uh, and so it's still talking about that particular uh, a dollar bra um the passage of a dollar bra uh, passes a power out of a dollar bra its thoughts is blind having expelled its power that is blasphemy and had spoken and it's purged down into chaos and to the abyss and its mother and the instigation and forth the wisdom of the peace of Sophia. Um, I don't even know why I'm reading this kind of stuff because a lot of this stuff here you have to go in and stop and really see what it's saying and it don't really deal with in a lecture. You see what I'm saying? Some things can be read and not said, you know, you know, like that and all, uh, and, and not said well, like that. Now let's try to get through this one last passage here. It says, next we will consider that the eon and the realm, they say that the earth don't go on time, it go on eon, eon after eon after eon. And it don't go on really time and dates and all this kind of thing. You got the eon of this, the eon. So they say that the earth goes on certain eons. The eon of the mother at first, which is Isis. The eon of Osiris, where the God died, which is us dying. And then the eon of Heru, which is redemption. And, it don't, and those are the eons that you consider not dates and stuff. And it says, we'll consider the eon realm, the model of the great eons of incorruptibility. They will also go to Sakla. When you see the word S-A-K-L-A, that's another word for a dog on a dollar bra. Their God, and they will go to the powers, accursing the great men that dwell in their glory. And they will say to a dollar bra, what is this power of these people who have stood in your presence? Who who have been structured from posterity of, from Cam, or the blackness, and Ayapath and Japheth, um, which means as uh, just sons of Noah, well, hell, if, 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 one, if, if one of the sons of Noah was black, that means that black, that his brothers could be not the black, and the damn father can't be not the black. You know what I'm saying? And Noah is only a biblical representation of the, the, the representation of the black people who fell from Atlantis in that flood. Not a literal thing of putting four or five animals in a, in a damn boat and stuff like that type stuff. But it's just a mythical thing that's talking about Atlantis. Uh, that's just talking about it, it, it's, uh, uh, Atlantis and stuff. The people have received back into the other realms and one and from which they have come and have overthrown the glory of your power in the dominion of your hand. For within the realms of the eons where your rule has been dominant. Posterity of Noah thought that his sons has done all will of yourself and all the powers. Those who, those, and, and while also those people are the people who sojourned into glory, have done the pleasing to you and but rather upset your entire throne. So they are actually saying that whoever these archons, they are talking to their father, a dollar broth, and they're telling him how these people of Cam and Noah have actually came and tore down your stuff and have gone back to their regular realms. So this, this is one that's also talking about resurrection. Now, this particular book, the Gnostic Scriptures, is talking, it gives you the, the actual, um, it gives you all the particular stuff that's actually going on in, in the Gnostic world. Now, this particular book there, Peace to Sophia, Peace to Sophia is the book that actually, this book was left by the Gnostics after they killed them all. This is the, the scriptures, some of the leftover scriptures that the Romans, uh, 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 the Romans used to write the Bible. The other scriptures, they, they took them and hid them in the actual, hid them in Egypt in a place called Nag Hammadi, and they was found in 1945. So in actuality, this is the, the last book of the Gnostic scripts, but the last book went through, it was saved through, through eons and stuff. It was probably brought up into England by the Moors, and it was saved, but the first, but, but, but the earlier book that goes into the Adalabra stuff, that stuff was, was hid until 1945. This book is dealing with, a piece to Sophia is dealing with the Gnostic, uh, uh, the, 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 the Gnostic unraveling of the books of the Savior. So this particular book is dealing with the stuff on the Savior and what the Savior is supposed to do. And basically, the Savior redeems himself and others by light. Well, at first I said, you know, you, you imagine a great, great light around you. Well, that was one particular part, but the real part of light, light is synonymous to what? Knowledge and understanding. 
So the more and more you study and understand the mysteries of the universe, and more and more you study and stuff, the more and more you kill a dollar drop by your thoughts. So now, this is the key. There's a lot of stuff that's in the New Age that you know you, you, you have to read with a grain of salt, but there's one mystery that you can always do. That is, you get your ancient scripts, your, your Gnosticism, your Hermeticism, your ancient Egyptian Book of the Dead, and you deal with a lot of ancient stuff. And if the new stuff don't pan out where they can bear witness to the ancient stuff, you know that that's the white man coming in and making some new shit for himself. Always deal with stuff where they include the ancient knowledge, and you'll know that that, that particular stuff that they're explaining now is more truthful. You see what I'm saying? More truthful and all. Uh, uh, and all. So that's what you do. You deal with the, with, with the ancient knowledge, and that's how you actually can determine on whether you are, you are on the right path and stuff. But the key is when it comes to light, light is based on, let me get my notes here because I want to, light is based on understanding, and that's one of the main keys. The more you understand, the more you put knowledge into this brain, the more and more your light shines. You see what I'm saying? So the more and more you think of importance from stuff outside that is not of truth and not of knowledge, the more and more you keep your life from enhancing. You see what I'm saying? So the deal is, C. Freeman L. used to say a lot of things. He said, you, you know, because, um, you know, there's ways to do things with diet and certain things that you can do physically to enhance the quality of your chakras and the different things uh, spiritually. But there's a way to bypass a lot of things that you have to do physically, like diet and a lot of certain meditation by just basically understanding. When you understand, you can bypass different, things, different realms. Take, for instance, in psychic realms. you got people that don't understand ancient knowledge, and they can only pick up psychic things based on what somebody's mother's doing or what kind of marriage. And basically, that's what you have on your psychic hotlines. Those people, see, there's different realms of psychic phenomenon. And based on your level of understanding the great mysteries of ancient, is the, you, you greater get to the realms that the other psychics can't get to. Some psychics can only deal with the fourth dimension and the third dimension, which, which is basically mundane realms. You see what I'm saying? So when you come in and ask them something about something very high spiritual, they can only give you the mundane part of it. You see what I'm saying? Or they, can, uh, they won't even pick it up because they can't get on that realm. But the more knowledge you can have, the more you can get on higher realms. So even in the psychic realm, a puzzle of a person or a psychic don't necessarily mean a person has access to the knowledge that's on those realms because it's gateways. And you can't get on those gateways to try to understand. So certain spiritual entities can't even come and even sojourn with you now unless you have a certain knowledge of those spiritual entities. You see what I'm saying? So because most of those people are just basic psychics, where the psychic is only, a psychic is only conducive to the knowledge that emanates it. So basically, if they don't know of any type of knowledge, they can only do psychic things based on the physical world. So they can do things based on a little bit of things to tell you what you're going to happen in the future, a few things of what's going to happen, and a few things that's happening around you in your everyday life, but they can't tell you things on certain realms. And when it comes to some of these particular, some of them, they can't get to that because of racism. So a certain realms ain't going to open up to them also, too, because they understand that even if they give them some of that, they're gonna, they, they can't take what they see, and they always change it around. You see that? They, mm -hmm. Very limited. Right, and see, like, take for instance, um, when I was up in New York, Bill Lilly said, oh, I'm going to take you by this, 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 this white lady. 